Hey there, everyone. Welcome to the 2023 through 2024 AFC South Week 14 review. And I got to say, yeah, this is a win-lose situation for Tennessee Titans. I mean, seriously. It is, yeah, a physical win for their standings, but bad, but a loss for their draft cap capital. I mean, seriously. We finally awoken this late in the se in the season. I mean, seriously. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, yeah, Indianapolis Colts, Houston Texans, Jacksonville Jaguars, they all lost their games. Oh, ugh. And they were, and, and Colts and Texans were ugly, ugly. Especially the Texans, who, by the way, yeah, not only lost to the New York Jets, but have gone through a lot. I mean, seriously, they're piling up injuries after injuries. Nico Collins and CJ Stroud were on top of the list, people. Oh, yeah. CJ Stroud, yeah. He's in concussion protocol. There is no telling what's going to happen next week. Ugh. Mean, but, yeah, the, yeah, the Texans made Zach Wilson look good, people. They made Zach Wilson look good. The game was 30 to 6. Oh, yeah. Devin Singletary was the only Texan that got a touchdown in that game. Meanwhile, the Colts and the Bengals, yeah. The Bengals were unstoppable in that game. I mean, seriously. Oh, my word. Yeah. Ugh. Nothing could stop the Bengals in this Jake Browning era. I mean, seriously. What in the world? Ugh. That game ended 34 to 14. Ugh. Yeah, especially since Chase Brown was in there getting touchdown, was getting touchdowns. I mean, seriously, Chase Brown, mostly Chase Brown. Ugh, unbelievable. Although, Jaguars and Browns, yeah, that was also a close game. But Joe Flacco coming back into the AFC North and getting good results. Joe Flacco was the one getting good results. Oh, yeah. Trevor Lawrence got three interceptions that game. Oh. Ugh. Meanwhile, David Njoku, yeah. What perfect synchronicity with Joe Flacco. Ugh. That game ended with Cleveland Browns winning 31-27. to Ugh. Of course, we all know Monday Night Football. Tennessee Titans at Miami Dolphins. Of course, there were some... Yeah, there were some ugly moments where Dolphins got the lead due to yep, the ref. There were part the there were some parts where were the refs fault. Not to mention the fact Derrick Henry and Eric Garrar. But in the end, Titans fought back, got the win. I mean, yeah, let's give them a round of applause. Yeah, it was a one point. It was a one point lead for the Titans, and that was twenty eight to twenty seven. Yeah, Titans were the only team to win that game out of the AFC South that week. But now we move on to week 15. Yeah, and unfortunately, Indianapolis Colts, they play on Saturday. Their opponent, Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah, and instead of Kenny Pickett, they play Mitch Trubisky. So, yeah. Meanwhile... Yeah, it is Houston Texans and Tennessee Titans people. So be on standby to see C.J. Stroud or Davis Mills people. Yeah, because you do not know who the Titans may face as Texans QB. <sighs> not to mention what kind of weapons Texans are going to have. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile... Meanwhile, the Sunday night football game, we got the Baltimore Ravens as Jacksonville Jaguars' next opponent. Yeah, the number one seed, Baltimore Ravens. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's on Sunday night. Oh, oh, my word. Anyways, that's all for now. See you when I bring you even more breaking news.